Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile video. Today we are back on Twitter and we are gonna take a look at the latest few posts by Mortal Kombat Mobile. Uh, they're pretty late. I, I mean, I'm pretty late to read them, but I've been away for a few days, a little vacation if you might say. And uh, yeah, I came back to this. So classic noob, we already knew about him. Uh, a lot of people already knew about him. We had, uh, I made videos about him. Uh, and now he's officially coming. It looks like probably in a few days, maybe on Thursday. Wait, what is the day today? Today is Monday. I think this week, I think this week we're gonna see uh, the uh, classic noob sidebot. And we know he's gonna be a gold character. So that is good. Uh, now the question is still in the open: How are we gonna be able to get him? Uh, I know for sure there's gonna be a classic pack, as I said uh, in the beginning. There's gonna be classic pack. There is gonna be classic uh, noob cybot uh, special bundle. Uh, there's gonna be classic ninja pack. These are the only two packs with classic noob cybot that I see, and. Uh, I assume that Classic Noob Saibot Special Bundle is just gonna have... Uh, you're probably gonna have, again, a chance to get a character. This is so crazy to me, because before Update 2.0, we used to have, uh, like, in the very beginning of the game, we used to have early access packs for $20. You could not just get guaranteed character that you were looking for. You would also be able to unlock them in the store. So after you purchase the pack once, you would be able to fuse them all the way to the max from the store. Now, it's not only you're not guaranteed the character you want from paying for the pack, you're also... You, you, you basically... Uh, the only way for you to fuse this character is to find him in the pack over and over again, which is absolutely dumb. But that's what it is, guys. So that's what we have... That's what we gonna have to do. Um... Uh, so yeah, classic ninja pack, it's gonna be basically a variation of a classic pack. Uh, it shows classic noob, classic smoke, and classic reptile on it, so... I'm assuming there's probably gonna be... F it's gonna be for souls, and there's gonna be 4% chance to get this character, so... Uh, but but first, we're definitely gonna get the money pack, and then after a couple weeks, maybe, we're gonna get uh, the classic ninja pack for the souls. Now, uh, let's take a look at, uh, at this video that they posted. Look at that. Classic Noob Saibot coming out. Oh yeah. I definitely like this guy way more than uh, the uh, Classic Smoke. He has, he definitely looks different. It's not the same model as Classic Scorpion, obviously. I hope he has some unique moves as well and not gonna just steal moves from other characters. Hope not. Hope it's gonna be completely unique and actually great gold character that can be even maybe called one of the best gold characters because Classic Smoke, even though he is very useful in certain synergies and uh, can help you cheese certain battles that has a lot of debuffs just by uh, reflecting them back to the enemy. He's still classic smoke. I wouldn't say that he is one of the best gold characters, but I hope we can say that about classic noob Saibot. Uh, let's take a let's read what people say. Coming soon. Let's let's see what people have to say. I bet there's gonna be a lot of critical comments in the beginning. Does this mean free to be free to play players will be able to get him? Uh, I guess if you're willing to spend thousands of souls. Oh my god! I don't, I don't know how to type. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna like me for these comments, but I'm, I'm just speaking the truth. What the hell is this? Somebody put classic smoke, uh, classic noob cybot is their uh, profile picture. He looks so deadly. I love this. Please more wallpapers will be appreciated. Yeah, he, he would make a nice wallpaper. Boycott the store. Do not spend a penny. They either fix their game and the box or close it down. We have the power to force their hand. But for that, you all need to stop putting money in their pockets. Unfair towers, unfair drop rates, overpriced packs. Hackers in survival. They're hackers in survival? Oh! 
Wait, did I ever meet a hacker in survival? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've met some really tough teams, but it's hard to tell if they're hackers or just really powerful teams with insane gear. <sighs> I mean, this is... I, I don't think it's gonna happen. There are whales who are gonna keep spending no matter what happens in the game. They have uh, expendable income. And uh, sadly, it looks like the game is focused on whales right now. They don't really care about their free-to-play base. So they don't really care if a bunch of people boycott the game. As long as they have their big spenders keep spending money, nothing's gonna change. And honestly, I think if if they start losing money on the game, they will just stop supporting it. I I don't know. I just don't see. I just don't see that they care about their community. So as for them, I feel like for them, as soon as the game stops making money, they're just gonna scrap it. And maybe maybe they're already working on some MK12. I, I mean, I'm sure they're probably working on MK12 for the consoles. And I'm really hoping. That they're gonna make a new game like they made Injustice 2 a new game which uh, arguably was an improvement over Injustice 1 which is not even I can't even I, I haven't played Injustice 1 but I was playing Injustice 2 for a while and it was fun until a certain point but I feel like almost every game at certain point gets uh, to the state where no matter what you do it's just not gonna be the same as it as it felt in the beginning when you played the game I honestly can't imagine what would they need to do right now to make MK Mobile as popular as it once were. I I don't know. I, I don't think that anything would do it for me. You could make it you could definitely prolong its life by making some smart decisions, but they haven't been making a single smart decision since I don't know, for a long time. There 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 were a few good things uh, in the previous updates. But uh, there was also a lot of bad things, so I don't know, guys. I, I don't think this game... Uh, uh, I, I want to see it go back to, uh, to the glory it once had. But I honestly, I, I don't see what, what needs to happen in order for this to happen. I hope that some, they, they do something, or they make a new game that is gonna start strong and keep strong. I don't know, guys. What, what would you rather see? Let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Would you rather see a new Mortal Kombat game, like completely new, different fighting mechanics, di like everything's different, like the upgraded game, and uh, that is gonna be good, or would you rather see them do some, some good changes to this game, and if you, uh, what do you think would be good changes for this game, what, what do you think would make this game, if not what it used to be, but at least more enjoyable and better? Maybe there is a chance that some of the developers will watch this video. So if you guys have some suggestions, but please be reasonable with your suggestions. Don't ju don't just say uh, bring bring back the old store or like add uh, increased chances of the stuff. Like th that stuff is like tweaking. I'm asking about fundamental changes to the game, like. Like something big, like some new game modes, or how would you... I don't know, something that they actually, there is a chance they would actually implement. Something that can make them money and still be interesting to the players. I don't know if, I don't know if, there, if, if it's possible to find a balance, but I feel like some games do it better than others. I have easily used over 100 tries on the well-known Tower 160. Now that is not... That's not the big issue. It's what I have received in those 100 plus battles. Coins, coins, and more coins! I agree. I agree. Coins are an issue, but... Yeah, coins... That's another thing. Coins are useless in this game. At a certain point, you're gonna max out all your special abilities, and support cards become so expensive that you don't don't even care. You just, you're just gonna pull them from some packs eventually. So, yeah, coins in my opinion, shouldn't be in a tower at all. Or much lower chance to find coins. And basically, for, for the most people, uh, finding support cards, uh, common and common equipment cards, they, they are all coins. Everything goes to coins. This is so dumb. I hate coins. <laughs> okay.
Every day I'm more convinced that within Game Developer Studios there's not a single person who really plays games. They don't know what the public wants to see. Well, they can know if they just read what people say. But I'm sure they do read it, they just don't pay attention because... Well, they need to make money. I can understand that, but I, I, I still believe that there is a way to find a balance between game making the game profitable and uh, not screwing people over who plays you, play your game. At, at least in simple things like fixing the bugs as soon as they're reported and not waiting for months till the next update to maybe fix them. That's ridiculous. In this game we don't even fight against real people. I don't know why the hell they have to make a tower so absurdly complicated that an intermediate player of three or four months cannot even pass from the beginning. Yeah, I think there should be two towers. One for newer players with lower rewards and one for advanced players because it's, it's pissing off a lot of people. I, I have to agree with this. More MK11 characters. Yeah, I would like to see that. They should have made him diamond. Why? I mean, he's going to be as hard as hard to get as diamond, probably, so they might as well, right? Not enough diamonds in the game? Yes, not enough. We need more. We need every single gold card converted to diamonds. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't take this. Don't take this literally. You guys should think poor developers. Oh, poor game lovers. You... you you did this game pay to win already. You should bring all towers equipment cards with souls or coins or souls as equipment pack. We can earn at least one rare equipment from battle 100 and we can choose gears at battle 200. That would be awesome. Actually, uh, okay, I don't know about the equipment pack. I don't know about the equipment pack. They're probably never going to do it. But like making it making the drops not random. I would make it like you drop one piece at, uh, for example, battle 100, one random epic piece, or at least like you have a guaranteed rare piece with a small chance of epic piece. Like 80% chance to be rare piece, 20% chance to be epic piece on battle two, uh, 100. Then on battle 200, you have guaranteed epic piece. It would be awesome if they could let us choose, but at least... Okay, I, I just think that every every boss battle should have a chance to drop uh, rare or epic cards. Because right now it's only uncommon cards or gold characters. Nobody plays this tower for gold characters. If you can beat battle 160, you most likely already have all your gold characters, uh, if not mixed out, pretty damn close to it. So... Why would you want to receive a gold card from Battle 160? You're playing this tower for the gear, so give us gear. Every every boss battle should have like 50% chance uh, to give us rare piece. The, the higher you are in the tower, the higher should be the chance to drop rare pieces and epic pieces. But there has to be a chance. The random chances are not gonna cut it. Like, it's nice to have random chance to get a, a, an epic piece uh, in random battle, but every boss battle should give you tower gear. Uncommon, rare, or epic. Otherwise, it's just ridiculous. You max out all your uncommon gear after two runs and you keep getting uh, useless gold cards that just convert to a small amount of souls. Absolutely ridiculous. I This is a good suggestion. It's good job, Kavidan. I hope, guys, they do it. There has to be more guaranteed drops from the tower. Oh, man with no game. Expectations versus reality. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Shang Tsung, he wasn't a complete failure. He's still, he can still be fun, but yeah, this was people, I bet people expected more. How this can be set to be open all at once, otherwise you have to spend two hours. Not comfortable. I mean, it's not a big deal. I like opening packs, so I wouldn't mind opening a bunch of these. Congratulations, our dreams are successfully destroyed. It's noob. What? Come on, a lot of people wanted noob, so... I don't think people complaining that it's noob. I don't think that noob is a problem. 
Now you know why the MK Mobile community is toxic. This is the reason we knew about this character a month and a half ago. Ha what? Excuse you make no s this comment makes no sense. Every single game, take every single game. There is always leaks. And uh, not even, like, most of the games, they have official announcements of what's coming. Uh, and the games that don't, there is always leaks, and people love it, and developers are not trying to stop it. Because uh, it, it drives the interest of the game. If somebody managed to find a leak of what's coming in the next update, it doesn't hurt the game. It, it, it doesn't hurt community, it doesn't hurt anybody. It's not meant... Uh, if, if developers wanted to keep it a surprise, they wouldn't add it uh, into the game before it's released. Otherwise, they want it to be found, so I completely disagree with this comment. To all those who thought maybe Nightwolf, Rain, or Sindel was gonna step out of this dark portal. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I would love to see Sindel. Or Nightwolf. Don't get how someone could have thought that in the first place. I mean, yeah, we, we all kinda knew that was Noob's portal, but still. People can hope. I don't even get excited. I spent 20 bucks on the Shang Tsung pack. Zero. Also open like 15 packs of 400 souls. Zero. It's stupid. You guys just want to rob our money. I don't know, guys. I have nothing more to say. I think this is the time to end the video. Wow, this is... I, I meant this is a short video, but we went to the whole discussion about the state of the game. Well, you can read the comments. Most of the people are not very happy about the state of the game. No, nobody's complaining about the noob doll, so that's good. Let's see, or let's see what's going to be the chances to to get this guy. But I honestly, I honestly hope something is going to change in the next big update. It it has to. At least it shouldn't change for the worse. If they if if they release another tower, that's worse, because the tower's been getting worse and worse with every tower. If the next one is going to be worse, I don't think a lot of people will have a lot of patience, except the whales, which are the only people who matter, to be honest. So. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. That's sad. But let's keep positive. We have our own community. We have fun playing this game. And uh, I'm gonna keep playing as long as you guys keep watching. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to show your support to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.